Hey guys, welcome back to the Bird Crazy channel. Today I got a neat review for you today of a real steel. Model's gonna be the Huggin, and this one's an OD Green G10 with the black coated blade. This kind of stuff that comes in the box. Got a lanyard bead, some paperwork. This one's got some diagram with a uh, microfiber cloth. Take a quick look around the knife. Again, this is the green G10 option. And it's with their slide lock. That's what they call it. It's got for the pivot screw and this other body screw, it's like a flathead design. It's uh, got steel liners with this G10 backspacer. And you can see that the liners just kind of protrude just a little bit. It's got a reversible pocket clip for either side. has a lanyard post there, some jipping on the rear. We'll take a quick look at the blade. It's a spear pointish shape. It's got a blood groove or fuller with a swedge on top. And there's your designer right there. And his logo. And this one's in VG10 steel. So that's a good steel. It's not the most high-end steel available, but it's also not a budget steel either. It's got good properties, nice stainless overall. It's an, just a good, good steel to use. Um, it's got some more jimping underneath here. You can see the jimping on the top. It's got a little extra. You know, a lot of a lot of knives they're just jimped like right here, but where you'd actually like use it and choke up, it has jimping there as well, and it's rounded, so nothing sharp. It gives you some grip without being too aggressive. The ergonomics are super comfortable on this knife. You can get a full grip and some, and I've got large hands. So you can probably tell, and that doesn't matter if you're, you know, which position or grip you're in. Um, one negative thing that I noticed, or it could be a positive, depending on how you look at it, is the pocket clip here. As you can see, is very low, you know, sitting close to the scale. And it's, it's going to be one of those where you've got to kind of get your fingernail under it and lift up to get in your pants. And I've tried it with just about... The thinnest pair that I've got, even dress pants, and there, there's no way around it. You could probably bend this up pretty easily right here just to let it slide over a little a little easier. But it's one, one thing I wanted to mention, and that could be a positive or negative. And, and I say that because it may be hard to get in the pocket, but as far as feeling it in the hand, as slim as that is, you can't even feel that at all very comfortable and when it's in the pocket you can see that it kind of tapers down it's a very thin pocket clip so it's very low profile as far as visibly as well so that could be a positive or negative depending on how you look at it the other the other negative thing that i noticed about this knife is there's jimping right here on the top and so being that i'm right-handed when it sits in my pocket like this, when I reach past the knife to get stuff in my pocket, that jimping right there is actually a little on the sharper side. And so it kind of scratches my hand whenever uh, I reach past it to get my phone or keys or whatever. If I didn't mention it, there's the lanyard post right there, if that's something that you're interested in. And as far as the blade, they've got that fuller right there. And if, if you can use it to open it, you can if you give it a little wrist action, but without that, the spring tension, it's a little hard to overcome. So thumb studs is gonna be your best option as far as opening the blade. It's the slide lock, like I mentioned, and pretty, pretty cool looking knife overall. It's a full size knife, but not too large. Let's see if I can give you a weight on it here. Oops. 
3.6 ounces. And I'll do some quick measurements. Blade length, it's gonna be about three and a half inches. And overall, about almost eight and a quarter. Do some thickness measurements for you. Here's your handle. Not too thick. And a nice thin blade stock. Being that it's kind of a narrow blade, uh, I think that's nice to not have it too thick to work and still actually cut behind the edge thickness. Is if I can get it here. Well, to get. One thing I will say is the factory edge on this is really sharp. So they did a really good job with the factory edge. Very sharp. I'll give you some con comparisons to other knives with the same style lock. Here's the Benchmade 940. We've got the SOG SOG Terminus XR. Got the Mini Damas and the Hogue Deca. As you can see, it's longer than all of those. It's not the widest by no means. I think this one's got it there probably. But uh, one thing I will mention as far as the lock locking mechanism, it's gotten smooth um, over time me using it and playing with it. When I first got it, you couldn't pull this down right here with one hand. See, it's kind of a little stiff right there. There we go. But now I can kind of move it up and down with just one finger. As far as closing it goes, it's you can do it one-handed or one finger as far as on the lock, but really it's much easier just to go ahead and pull down both all the way and it opens and close smoothly. Um, it's definitely gotten a lot smoother since I've been using it. But I will say that it is not as smooth as some of the others. You know, like this is the standard, the original. And you can just, I mean, it's super smooth. Drop shuts. This one's smooth as well. I don't think this one drop shuts as much though. So. You can also pull down one side to close it, which is kind of nice because then you can have a full grip. Same with this one. And this one. So it's not quite as smooth as some of the others. If you use two, it still operates plenty smooth. It's still a good system. It's just not quite as smooth as some of the others. Uh, overall, I really like the design of the knife and the look of it. I think the size is really good. It's a full-size knife without being too large and too heavy. Um, I like it. They have different options available. I think I paid around $100 for this one. On their website, they have some that's in with a satin blade with micarta, different color G10, I even think they have a carbon fiber and also a titanium model, if that's something you're interested in. I think there might be still some of those available on their website. They're just samples, I believe, so you may want to get them before they're out. But it sounds like they're going to have different um, options available of this knife for whatever you're interested in. And uh, so I like it. Pretty cool knife overall. Good size. And a good shape. Kind of reminds me of the bug out. Just a... Uh, larger pretty cool so that's the real steel hugging